All right, so do a quick description of the water box mount that I made. It started out going with this setup. <clears throat> and I was gonna run a strap through um, here and here, out the side, and then out through another one of these loops. I just do a full circumference strap. And then I just kind of realized I had this from the, the old jet ski and it's a pretty nice strap. Stainless steel um, wire hooks on the end. So I just went ahead and bent one up on this one and uh, installed this on the other one. So it'll just hook in and uh, <clears throat> strap tight over the top and it'll stretch a bit to get there. So this mount here is going uh, right down there, but essentially on that engine rail right there where that mark is. So um, I wasn't quite square with it, so I had to, while well, I was in place, just kind of mock it up. But um, anyway, that's the strap set up. And get that welded in. Essentially, I have the seat in. I wanted to, I got the metal for the bulkhead, got the metal to build the engine cover. Um, I had to order some, so I didn't have all the square tubing to frame it out. So, <clears throat> I did get the flat strap, so I'm gonna put that underneath here for the, uh, the lid to set on. Um, and I wanted to see, once I pulled this bulkhead in, um, what kind of room I had because I got about an inch before it you know we're hitting material here so the bulkhead is going to be angled down with the seat and then that top bar is going to go across underneath here and that's what the lids can actually sit on is that top bar or the, or the bottom uh, piece is going to go all the way across and then a two inch um, lid will sit on top of that so need to figure out positioning is I'm, I'm going to end up pushing that that bottom, the two, two inches going on the bottom up that way as far as I can. So I've got a good inch or more of um, overlap with the, with the lid when it comes down. But I'm trying to keep the lid right at the top of the back of the seat. So the, the two inches underneath that will be set forward a little bit. And then the bulkhead will come up on the front side of that and I suppose I could always cut it down if I needed to but this is the main thing I'm trying to get around um, and then I also wanted to pull the engine with the seat in because the seat more or less represents the bulkhead and it's definitely a little tight you know what without this on there it's not really a problem I was able to get the water box past that that inset box there and turned over um, you know on the other side I have those uh, fuel rail and electrical panel mounts that I bolted in so if it's <clears throat> if it's a little bit tight I can always remove these you know and turn it this way um, to lift it out but I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and put that mount in and then drop the engine back in and build a bulkhead because um, there's not that much to the bulkhead um, I don't think the end is really going to be in, in the way that much it might be when I go to weld flat strap along the edge all the way around um, so I need to weld on the back side and the, the inside seam um, with it sticking out so we'll see how that goes alright so this week as didn't really have enough time to hit the engine cover after work, but I had a little time to work on the bulkhead, trying to seal it off. Um, so I had some 16, 16th inch scrap material. Um, I just picked up just to have it. Um, and this here is eighth inch, but this is the, um, so I used that 16 inch to cut out this floor plan for pan and 
Um, my plan there is to actually gasket it, probably put some uh, of that kill mat on the bottom of it and um, bolt it to these um, engine bearers and then I'm going to tack weld around the edges. Um, so it'll be semi-permanent. Um, basically tacks I can reach with the angle grinder pretty easily if I need to pull it up. But there's not a lot going on under, under there. So um, anyway, that scrap chunk came in pretty handy. I bought it months ago. Just I think I had a, I'm building a, I don't need to build a lunch box for work. And I was gonna uh, take a weld one up. Just haven't decided to use the time yet. But um, so the corners off of that um, <laughs> just seem to kind of go pretty well there. So I figure, well, I'll throw those in. Um, you know, it overlaps here because it's 16th. I figure, well, I'll just tack this down. And this is where the electrical comes through, so I'll probably just leave that open until I get everything back in, in um, the electrical back in. And then I'll just custom fit a piece to, to fill in most of that. And same over there, um, you know, because I had two sides of this, this stuff to work with. So, you know, and I want to try and dampen engine noise. And of course, the, the vibration from the aluminum. And there's a lot of vibration, but you think about these, these aluminum panels. I mean, there's just, you know, and this is tacked in pretty tight. That's eighth inch. You know, there's, there's not a lot of give here. It's, it's not really this. It's just, it's just the aluminum itself. So really hoping that kills, kill mat kind of um, reduces that quite a bit. I was even thinking about just putting it on the long panels, the, you know, the outer hole or the side side panels. Um, yeah, not in full coverage, but just put a couple pieces back there, maybe one over there, one or two. I even thought about, you know, trying using it on the underneath the deck lid. Um, or the bow, um, just to try and get that that tinny vibration down, noise, and um, then the engine noise itself. You know, um, planning on putting a seal here. So, um, as soon as I get this wrapped up today, I'm gonna go ahead and get back to work on the on the lid, engine cover. So I got some hinges and. Uh, I bought some seal material. I'm not sure if it'll work. Um, I like the material, but uh, it may be too thick. I'm not really sure. Still got to work out those details. Um, got a latch for it. That's going to be a little bit time consuming, you know, fitting that in my frame and making it work, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, so anyway, that's where we're at for the moment.